Welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. The Hasbro Star Wars team took to their YouTube channel to go over all the latest and greatest Star Wars Black Series, Vintage Collection, and heck, even a new HasLab tease as well. But we had Patrick from Marketing, Chris from Design, and Eric from Design as well going over all these new figures, even ones coming down the road in the pipeline for all applicable figures, depending on when you see this video, I will have links in the description below if you want to pre-order anything, Amazon, Entertainment Earth, all that jazz, those are the sites I recommend, and they will all go up for pre-order tomorrow. They're not going to be today, June 9th, they will be starting June 10th, so keep that in mind, you don't see it today, get ready for tomorrow. So to kick things off, they briefly went over the Vote from the Vault winner, the Star Wars Vintage Collection Republic Trooper. It'll be on a new card, decoed out here and there, but uh, more in terms of what they're doing now with Vintage Collection, and that will be, again, available. Shop Disney exclusive, pre-order 610. I always say in and around 1 p.m. Eastern, right? So 12, 11, 10, 10 o'clock Pacific for all you and I won't even get started on Mountain Time. Don't understand that, Mountain Time. <laughs> this is all in conjunction with their I Am Your Father's Day sort of deal. So it's kind of like NECA where it's like, you know, buy your dad Star Wars stuff. He's a geek, right? Let him know that you know he's a giant nerd. They kind of sort of went over like like father, like child kind of thing. So dad gets the HasLab Razor Crest. And then you can buy your kiddos the Mission Fleet Star Wars the Mandalorian mission fleet video real quick i don't know why they, they put this one before all the other ones so we're just going to do this in order the vintage collection showed off a hoth rebel trooper hoth, hoth rebel soldier i should say recreating the original release again the pre-order tomorrow and he will be available at retail later on in the year hasbro's 50th lucasfilm series all that kind of stuff they put the big 50 right there in the corner of all these things this will be the final archive wave for the year of 2021 there's more archive coming this is just the last wave to start it off we're getting a new hope leia so that's good right we all remember. let's hope this leia catches a break right all the leias <laughs> thus far they're using photo real tech right so you know, it looks good. Well, hopefully she comes out looking good. Also, one thing, I will say this. From the last sort of fan first thing that they did, this one was better. I was more hyped, more energy, things to work on here and there. But the other thing is putting the figures up in the camera. It's it's usually blurry. I mean, you could put your hand behind it and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it doesn't really work. I don't know. It. I, I appreciate you guys doing it. But at the same time, it's kind of like, what am I looking at? You know what I mean? You're kind of jostling your head all the way around. Then we got the uh, Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Kenobi. This one, again, I think a lot of people had problems with the first release, and they're just redoing it again. This has less reddish hair. That was one thing they pointed out in the video. They got photo real tech, and it's the first archive figure for uh, prequel trilogy type stuff, so... Yeah, that, if that's something notable. <laughs> and then you have the 501st Legion Clone Trooper that will be coming out as well in this wave. He looks good. You can army build the heck out of that, I guess, if you'd like. And then the original release re-released, again, the Darth Revan figure with the cloth goods. And yeah, I have the, I have the first version of this guy when they would put him in the actual Black Series box. He's a good figure. He's fun. This is the kind of stuff that I like. I like like really obscure comic book video game type stuff usually from Star Wars. All of these will be pre-order again tomorrow, fall 2021 release, and they will be at most major retailers. So if you need them, yep, you can grab them again. Rogue One. Now this was actually, I actually really like Rogue One, and I love, uh, you know, seeing it back in some capacity. I thought it was a cool movie. They're finally doing Bodhi Rook. Riz Ahmed, probably because he's in a lot of great movies. He was in Venom, and he's, God, he's a great actor. 
thank you for making Bodie Rook. This really completes the Rogue One team, right? So he's an all new sculpt. His string on his backpack thing will unravel. I thought that's kind of cool. It's kind of old schoolish, you know what I mean? But you got to take the backpack off. You can reel it back up. It looks good. I'm actually really stoked. They're going to do like a re-release kind of thing with the that they did with Star Wars Rebels. You know what I mean? Where all the boxes, they all fit together. Yada, yada. So I'm having flashbacks to Walgreens and Targets and Walmarts already. Jin Erso will make her return as well. Again, all of these are kind of redone, different deco-ish, and then also photo reel tech. So yeah, that's the differences. But yeah, Jin Erso's coming back. So is Cassie and Andor. And then you have K2SO, which he looks good. I always liked that robot. That was cool. And then you got Chirut Imwe, which I really liked that character. And then I also really liked Baze Malbus. I remember finding Chirut and Baze at Target. I was stoked <laughs> when I was really going after the Black Series back in the day. So all of these look good. So you understand it's a shared fan channel exclusive in the US, Canada, and UK. That means like stores like GameStop, Best Buy, and other entertainment earth retailers like that will have these they're not going to be at target they're not going to be at walmart and again pre-order on shelf later this fall yada yada then you got <laughs> we're going to go to target for this one not only just target these are target exclusive in the u.s but i'll talk about everywhere else in the uh, the world in just a second and talk merrick from rogue one so they're continuing the whole rogue one thing he looks good. I thought that was a pretty cool character, too. I mean, for what he did. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that uh, that works. That fits. And then you have Galen Urso. Galen Urso comes with the Death Star plans. And those are the same Death Star plans as the Rebel Fleet Trooper had. And, like I said, these two will be Target exclusives in the U.S., Toys R Us exclusives in Canada, and then in the UK, you can go Fan Channel, Star Action Figure, and Zavi, again, pre-order, and they will be on shelf at Targets here in the US later this fall. Moving on to Star Wars, the Vintage Collection, they went full-on Mandalorian with this one, which is great to see because I think that's, that's what's really keeping me in the Star Wars game right now. But the uh, Vintage Collection will have a new Bo-Katan figure. She will come with a swappable head and helmet. She has a viewfinder that has articulation. Yes. Removable backpack, jetpack thing, two pistols, and she features ankle rock. So they decided to include that as well. Then the the first, this, this guy was cool. This is like the first bounty guy, and then he showed up later on in the series. The Mithral, right? You know, oh, uh, I could give you credits. <laughs> I like that guy. He was cool. Yeah, he's an all-new figure minus the blaster. The blaster uh, we've seen before. Oh, no. Oh, no, not the blaster. He comes with the bounty puck with his little hologram look to him. I think that's pretty cool. And then he comes with cuff restraints. So, yeah, you can... If you got the Razor Crest, you're set. And then they split it up, kind of. So they talked about talking with John Favreau and having him come by and they had a little quote from it says half the fun of working on a Star Wars project is seeing the toys that are created it was a thrill to meet the artist behind the line of Hasbro Mandalorian products oh well done Hasbro <laughs> right and he came by and he got to hang out with the Razor Crest so that's pretty cool right I, I John Favreau in all honesty when I see the Mandalorian I feel like it's been said to death like a kid crashing two action figures together and that's what i love about the mandalore it's so much it's so ridiculous but it's awesome and then the final vintage collection figure that they went over was kuil and yeah he will be coming soon the old nick nolte voice and everything most major retailers in the fall pre-order tomorrow yada yada and this is cool i like when they do this because this is i think the stuff like last time we did this more excited about so again star wars black series coming down the pipeline pipeline means it's coming eventually they're working on it so nothing to really to show other than pictures of characters from the movies or the shows so we got the jetta patrol stormtrooper continuing on with rogue one we have Bib Fortuna, right? So that's going to be cool. And then and then this one, Mayfeld. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I this is day 1 for me. This, <laughs> I 
I am so happy they're making a Bill Burr figure. I hope I hope Twitter goes off for Bill Burr on this one thing because he's he's like having fun with it, you know. Like I, I don't want to be a Star Wars character. You guys are weirdos. <laughs> yeah, you're an action figure now, so that's awesome. He comes in that uh, stormtrooper gear or whatever you want to call it from that episode of The Mandalorian, and then you have Fennec Shand, so that's cool that she is getting a character figure as well. Stoked on that, along with this guy, Nomad Boba Fett. So that's the name we're going with, Nomad. I liked Old Man Boba Fett, but yeah, Nomad Boba Fett. That that works for me. And then Cobb Vanth wearing the Boba Fett armor. So again, that is actually a really solid lineup of Star Wars Black Series characters right there, to be quite honest with you. I am stoked on all of them, and I like that Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper. I like the Stormtroopers with the... Uh, the pauldron. It reminds me of Power of the Force. You know what I mean? With the, the sand trooper that had the pauldron and the flame gun and all that. Anyways, moving on to the pipeline for the vintage collection. We're going to be getting a Bib Fortuna as well. Then we're going to be getting a Lobot figure. And then the Navarro Cantina is the next playset. That is rad. All hands down, Mandalorian. That's really cool. So I'll give them that. The Navarro Cantina, well done. So Bib Fortuna Lobot million times but hey i'm sure that if you don't have them in your collection yeah you're going to be stoked as well then they revealed the next haslab projects get ready to save your cash because in 2021 they're going star wars the black series with this one and it will be a summer fall 2021 release somewhere in that time and the only tease that they told us about was that it is not a vehicle. So let your imaginations run wild. I'm hoping I'm hoping it's a bigger size figure, so I would think like a Rancor or something like that. That would be cool. Not, I mean, a playset, that would also be cool, I think. But um, yeah, I think Rancor, that would be that'd be cool. Come with a Rancor Keeper, something like that. That would be awesome. And then there will be more Star Wars reveals here and there coming soon via fan channels, fan celebration, all that kind of stuff. So very cool. Nice presentation overall, very informative, lots of great stuff if you're a Star Wars collector in either the Black Series or the Vintage Collection series, so I'm curious to know what you guys think about all these reveals, which ones you grab and which ones are like, uh, not again, but I gotta get it. Comment below, let me know, let's talk everything Star Wars, and I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I am I'm stoked on that <laughs> old man Boba Fett and Fennec Shan. That's going to be cool. I'm looking forward to the book of Boba Fett. I'm excited for that. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to go watch Loki now on Disney+. Plus. Adios.